What Fab said, chilly weather bring out four figure jacket prices. Period. What? So these are all the quotes that I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm going to be reading off of my phone just because AliExpress is not like, you know, a fashion brand. So I got these from different vendors just to be on like the safe side and tell you guys the right description and give you guys my right opinion for the prices of everything. I'm going to just read it off my phone. But yeah, I'm going to start with the teddy coat first. Um, you know, you could never go wrong with a nice teddy coat. I've always wanted a teddy coat. I bought like three teddy coats this year. Um, one from Misguided, one from Pretty Little Thing, I believe. And now this is the third one. And they're all similar colors. I don't know what's the matter with me. I really just don't know what's the matter with me. I'm going to be linking everything down below as well. But this teddy coat was $42.90 and I got it in a size extra large. So the total together was $39.46 and then I had to pay like, what, $5 for shipping so that's really what it was but this is in a size extra large yeah i'm gonna just try it on and show it to you guys i tried this coat on it fits but it's not as oversized as i would like it to be like this is like a furry trench coat kind of sort of or like a furry regular coat that you would wear to go out or something like that you know how people wear like these nude coats i feel like i have the name in my head but i really just can't think of it right now oh double breasted coat it reminds me of like a double breasted coat the way that it looks um just because of the fact that it's not as oversized Usually I would like a teddy coat to be oversized, but I'm not mad at it, you guys. This is a size extra large. I do believe this is the biggest size that it goes up to just because of the fact that if it went up bigger, I definitely would have got it bigger because with Asian sizing, I don't take the risk. I don't try to get my actual size. I usually go bigger, and if it's too big, I could just take it in, point blank, period. But yeah, this is how it fits. It can close, right? I probably wouldn't wear this close because it would just look like, girl, this don't fit you, you know? Like... This don't fit you, my hips are wide. It fits my waist, yeah, but that's really it. It don't close nowhere else, as you guys can see. So I would say if you're smaller than me, probably, I would say like, if you were like a size six, eight, you could probably wear this and it would be mad oversized. Definitely size up if you want that oversized look. But if you would like the, you know, the double breasted look or like a, you know, clean trench coat type thing, then I would say do this. But I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna still keep it because I don't return with AliExpress. I'm so sorry. It's stuff that don't fit me, but I will not return it just because of the fact that I cannot return with AliExpress. Like, I just cannot. I refuse to. I honestly refuse to do it because it's just like, it's such a headache. No, I'm not going through that. No. But yeah, this is a cute coat for $42. Honestly, I could get it the same price anywhere else. Pretty little thing misguided. So honestly, what I recommend you going out to AliExpress to get it no because it's not cheaper um but yeah this is the first coat i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys like i wouldn't recommend you going all to alex just to get a teddy coat it is a nice coat though it does feel nice it does not feel cheap it is lined on the inside it's not satin it's like more of like a polyester type of thing it's lined on the inside which is good and yeah let's go on to the next one so next up is this fur bomber y'all do y'all see this though? Y'all see this though? What Fab said? Uh, Chili with the bring up all the jacket, jacket prices. prices. <laughs> Period. What? You can't tell me this is not my chinchilla. You can't tell me this is not a real fur. I think this is actually real fur. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I think this is real fur. But you guys, this is a fur bomber. I've always wanted one, y'all. I've always wanted this for a really long time. For like a couple of years now, I wanted this fur bomber, right? It never went up to my size. Um, and I wanted it from AliExpress because honestly, no shade to any small business out there. I'm not paying $700 for a bomber that I know for a fact I can get for a quarter of the price. And that's no shade to anybody. If you have a small business and you're selling fur bombers, feel free to comment that down below. You know, networking. But me personally, I'm cheap, okay? And I don't like to overpay for something that I know that I can get for cheaper. Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. So I've always wanted one and I always knew I could get one off of AliExpress, but I just they just never made it in my size, big enough in my size. So I was able to snag me this one in a size 5XL. Yes, this is a 5XL and it fits just right. Like my arms fit and it, it's not tight on my arms. They close and everything. Like it has like a hook i don't know if you guys can see it but it's like a faux hook type thing the fur is so thick you really can't see it but y'all this is this is not this is it this is it and it's like you kind of could close it and then look oh i need to buy a cell bag you know every every new york girl <laughs> this is dead every new york girl fit oh my god wait hold up dang i'm basic this is mad funny i need a ysl bag now i mean i really wanted a ysl bag but now i need a ysl bag because you know i have to have one with this like 
you know period but nah this is mad cute i'm not even gonna lie this one is a little pricey i paid 389 dollars for this coat stupid you're not I'm smart not you're not smart i personally think this is worth every penny the fur feels so smooth so luxurious honestly like Nah, it's a raccoon bomber. If you guys don't know, it says raccoon. I honestly think this might be real fur. And I don't know how I feel about that because that's kind of scary. Do I have real raccoon on me right now? Oh, it's the watch for me. Oh my God, AP me. Ah! Like, I look like a rich person. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's my Teddy Blake? It's in my closet. I don't feel like going in there right now. Ballet. Benz is right there. That's the vibe that it's giving. No, I really do like this. I feel like everyone should have like a fur. Bomber. I do recommend everybody getting this. I know it's expensive. I'm not gonna lie. It is expensive, but it's completely worth it. And I think it's so cute, especially for the fall with some black leather jeans. That's really why I wore the black leather jeans because of the fact that you guys know in the fall and winter time, I love me these black coated jeans and make everything look mad rich. And look, I look mad rich. Body suit, $5.90 from Uniqlo's clearance section. Jeans, Fashion Nova, $20. Watch JBW. 100 and some change, Jack 300, and I'm looking like somebody that has like eight figures in their bank account. I'm going to have eight figures in my bank account one day, but I don't have it today though, so you don't need to know that, but I'm gonna give that energy, you feel me? And that's the energy that I wanna give all 2020 and forever, okay? I have eight figures in my bank account. Period. But I cannot wait to wear this, y'all. I really cannot wait to wear this. This is mad cute. Nobody's telling me nothing in this. Nobody's telling me nothing in this, yo. Oh my God. But yeah, let's go on to the next one. So next up is this fur parka. This is another thing that was on my list, you guys. This is a fully lined fur parka. I feel so bad. Yo, Peter really gonna hate me after this video. They really gonna hate me. Like, I wanted a coat that looked like this so badly. And I finally got one. I didn't even tell you guys about the shipping times and stuff like that. All of these coats literally took two weeks to come here, which is really, really fast for AliExpress especially. They all came through DHL and everything. So I got these within two weeks. I think the one that took the longest, this coat right here, this one took the longest, but that took like two weeks. Tops, like I literally ordered these two weeks ago. Um, The fastest one was this one, the fur bomber, and then came this, and then yeah, this coat, y'all, this is a whole parka right here. Like, a whole fur-lined parka. What? Oh, my God. No, I really do like this. Like, imagine me in a winter time just pulling up. Like, hello, I'm here. What's good? What's good, sweetie? Ah! And you can actually detach, like, the fur, like, which part you want. This whole thing is detachable, kind of, sort of, but it's not flimsy but if you say you don't want the fur on the inside you can actually detach it right here like it's not um you know flimsy feeling or nothing like that i don't feel like oh if i snag on something it's gonna come off it's not gonna do that but if say you don't want the fur like you know like this all on the outside or the chin like that you can actually unbutton it like this and you could take that off which is a really good thing because i honestly you don't want to be this extra all the time or say you don't want the fur on the um sleeves right here you could take that off as well i think you could take the I think you take all the fur off of everything, um, and it's like mad pieces, but I wouldn't do that because I just love this coat so much. So this one is more true to size. I got this in a size XXL. I didn't even zip it up. I'm, I do not feel like zipping this up. Like, honestly, this is the coat open only because, y'all, to tuck in all of this fur to try to zip it up, it closes. It closes. To tuck in all this fur is just too much for me, so I don't feel like doing that. I got this in a size XXL, and I paid $216 for it. I personally don't think this is bad for $216 for all this fur. For all this, for this jacket, and it that keeps you warm, you guys. Like, this jacket is actually keeping me warm. I'm getting hot right now. Even though there's lights and everything, I'm getting hot, okay? Like, I need to hurry up and get out of this. But, no, this is mad cute. Like, 216 is honestly not that bad for this. Like, honestly, I know the fur, fur bomber might be like, dang. Like, that's like a pop-out, pop-out type thing. But, like, this is honestly, 216 is not that bad, right? It's not that bad. Comment down below. Is that is that bad? <laughs> I don't know, but I really do like this a lot. Like, I honestly do recommend people getting this one. And they have so many different colors. They had it in black. They had it in, like, a red. Y'all, I'm going to just link everything down below, and you guys can just check it out for yourselves and see which one you want. But I love the green one because I had a green coat like this, but it's too big for me. And I've always wanted, like, this, you know, cargo-looking. Like, I just wanted this coat for a really long time, and I finally was able to get it and yeah let's go on to the next one period i'm not even done yet i'm not done yet i just started period okay i can lay this on the floor this is the whole chinchilla right here so next up is this faux fur i know for a fact this is faux fur it feels like faux fur compared to these i think these are actually real fur and i'm like i said i'm kind of concerned because i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> 
I mean, I have it now. You feel me? I'm not a vegan. I'm not none of that. I eat meat. I eat all that. So, yeah. But this is faux fur. I can feel it. It feels like faux fur. But it still is plush. Like, can you guys see this? This is a plush faux fur leather biker jacket. I got this because I don't have nothing like this. I've never seen nobody with nothing like this. And I was like, I had to get it because nobody got this. Nobody got this. If you could tag somebody that got this, I don't know. But... <laughs> Nobody has this. I never saw nobody with this, so I got it. Um, this is a faux fur leather bomber. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Let me try to bring the brightness down just a little bit. Look at that. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? So this faux leather bomber fur, whatever it is, right? I got this. I'm going to tell you guys the size and stuff right now. I got this in a size 4XL. Like I said, um, AliExpress sizing is just, it's Chinese sizing, so do not get your extra size. You will be tight, okay? It's not going to fit you. So I got this in a size 4XL, and I paid $63.72. The original price was $58.62. Um, so the, I probably paid like, what, $7 for shipping, which is not bad. Um, honestly, I think this is worth it. Um... I honestly do think this is worth it. Like, look at it. This is how it looks from the back and everything. Like, I think this is worth it. One thing that was that kind of threw me off was like the it's no fur in here. Like, I'm like, what was that for? But I'm like, overall, it's still a cute jacket. I can't wait to get a cute picture in this. Like, oh, uh, before it gets too too cold. Like, I need it to get like 70 degrees one of these days real quick, and then I'll take a really really nice picture. I mean, regardless, I'm gonna still take a picture in it. <laughs> Regardless if it's like 20 degrees out. But I know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. So I might even want to sit here and say, I recommend everyone getting this. Because this might not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Like, this is mad extra. I know this is extra. And I don't have a gray leather nothing. I don't have no gray jacket. A jacket this color. I don't have a jacket this color. So I was like, I had to get it. And yeah, let's go on to the next one. So next up, you guys, this is not fur. This is leather. Well, faux leather. Um, I know it's a fur coat haul. I just wanted to incorporate this because I feel like you guys need to know this. You guys need to know about this. So if you guys have not seen my Zara coat haul um what are you doing click right here watch period as you guys know i'm obsessed with freaking faux leather bombers and aliexpress had a faux leather bomber and i already have the one from zara i like both of them equally but they're two different vibes and i actually ordered this before i bought the zara one so i knew i was gonna have a faux leather bomber regardless but i fell in love with the zara one so much that i actually had to buy it and i like this one though. my one thing about this one i'm tall so i have long limbs it doesn't really you know reach the wrist like this is literally how much space is in the wrist let me put this down it doesn't really reach the wrist so that's my one thing about this but other than that i really do like this coat what i say it will keep you warm i probably don't think it will keep you warm i'll probably wear this like 50 degree weather 60 degree weather not 40 get a turtleneck you know be cute or whatnot but that's really the most that i would do with this because baby you're not going to be really warm in it it is keeping me warm don't get me wrong but it's also mad lights and i'm also inside so yeah, I think everybody should get a faux leather bomber. I'm not saying you have to get the specific one, but you guys know I like the faux leather bomber look, so that's how I'm gonna get it. And yeah, this is the last item of the haul.